Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my recent shopping spree and I'm not calling it a haul because I have purchased quite a few items from various places and I thought I would just talk about some of those items for today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into my shopping spree items. I'm going to try to move quickly. Some of these products are unopened and some of them are open. Like I've opened the packages, but some I have actually used. So I'll try to go through them really quickly for you guys. So the first product is this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I purchased mine in tan. I purchased it from Ulta and it is highly sought after. I noticed on Tarte's website that you can only purchase two per customer. Um, so um, I think it has been sold out. So a lot of people have wanted to get their hands on this. I did not want to jump right on it um, when it first came out because I was pretty satisfied with my concealers. But I finally decided to give it a try because I wanted to see what was the hype all about. And this is a fantastic concealer. It is a full coverage concealer. I just use a small amount of this because it is so full coverage that you do not need a lot. Now, if you're a cake face and you really want to apply a lot of it, you can, but it doesn't take much. This is wonderful. So this was one of my first items. I also purchased a couple. This is the Hourglass Vanishing Stick Foundation. And this is what the foundation kind of looks like. I am wearing it today. When I look at my color matches on Sephora's website, I do not have a color match for this foundation. So I just kind of took a guess based on um, some YouTube videos and complexions that matched my complexion. The first shade I purchased was Golden Amber, but I thought it looked maybe a little bit too orangey, just a little. So then I went back and ordered Honey, and Honey has more of a beige undertone, so I like mixing the two. This is light, so it's too light for me to wear by itself, and I thought this was a little bit too dark. So, um, but this one is closer to my match. So mixing these two together has gotten me to um, where I am today and I really like how it turned out. I would not necessarily recommend that you guys do this because this stick is $46. And I just went a little crazy that day when I decided to go ahead and buy a second one so that I could get the perfect match. But I thought regardless, this should last a long time because I have two of them. Kept hearing here on YouTube people talking about this no color powder from RCMA. This is relatively inexpensive. It's $12 or $13, something like that. I found it online and yes, it is worth the hype. Ever since I purchased it, I have only been using this setting powder. No banana powder, no Sasha Buttercup, no Laura Mercier, just this. When I say that this gives you such a airbrushed finish, it's amazing setting powder and it really keeps oil at bay for a very long time. So this is a fantastic setting powder. It is so affordable. If you can find it online, purchase this stuff. You will love it. I also purchased the Colossal Big Shot. This is a drugstore mascara. Um, I think that this is new. It's currently being promoted by Manny MUA and Makeup Shayla as if it's new. So I think it's new, but I'm not sure. And um, I just thought I would give it a try. I do like drugstore mascaras. CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara was a mascara that I used nonstop. Like it was my only mascara for a long time. So I do look forward to trying this one out and seeing if it is a great mascara as well. I purchased a couple of products that were um, recommended by Miss Kanisha Shireen. You know, I filmed my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial collab with her, and she talked about a couple of products in her Best of 2016 video, and these are products I had heard of before, and I'd been wanting to try them, so I decided to give it a go. This is Midnight Cowboy, and this is a glitter liner. And I believe it can also be placed kind of all over your lid. And so I'm looking forward to using this liner. 
Kanisha talked about this mineralized skin finish from MAC. This is in Dark Deepest. The MAC makeup artist thought that this would be the best shade for me as well. And I am wearing it today. And I do love this as a bronzer. Ooh, I'm loving it. So this was something I picked up during my shopping spree. <laughs> a lot of this stuff I'm wearing today. I mean, I was excited. I also purchased um, just a couple of lashes from House of Lashes. This was getting towards the end of my shopping spree, and I had purchased so many products that I decided to slow it down a little bit when I got to these lashes. These are the Serene Minis by House of Lashes. I'm wearing them today, and they come in this little package, and I also purchased them in the regular size but they're a very wispy lash this is the regular ones and then i'm wearing the minis i wanted to try the regular ones i do love house of lashes mini lashes because they are so easy to apply and to me they're shorter they're you know noticeable but not too much i also purchased house of lashes lash adhesive i have heard a lot about this lash adhesive i purchased it in dark and um, one of the reasons I purchased it, it has a wand for applying it and I felt like that might be easier than squeezing it out of the tube. What I liked about it today is it goes on very thin. So it doesn't get too clumpy. I can expect, I hope when I remove these, that it won't have a ton of lash adhesive on the lashes. So it will make it easier for you to reuse your lashes if, if this works the way that I think. I do know that the lashes went on very easy and I like this stuff so I'm going to use this I'm gonna be using this <laughs> also 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 I purchased some finally 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 have purchased some Sigma brushes and some very Sigma products I couldn't wait to tear into these so I didn't use them today for my makeup tutorial because I think I'm gonna take some photos some product shots of the products and I didn't want to use them beforehand, but they came in the prettiest package. Um, I got a travel brush as a gift, a gift for my purchase. So in this first box, I have some blending brushes, and look at how pretty. I mean, seriously, y'all, y'all, this is what you paying for. Like, you paying for this packaging? They they just send you each individual brush, just like in a in its own pretty package really so I have they're all eyeshadow brushes that I picked up this time I just wanted to try them and um, these are various blending brushes that I have picked up some are animal hair and some are synthetic and then I also picked up this um, lip concealer I think that I just picked this up because I needed one more purchase in order to be able to get the free gift and I thought I would try this it looked like it was a popular product on their site and you put it on your lips before lipstick it's supposed to conceal the color of your lips so that the lipstick is the correct shade that's what it's supposed to do so if you have really dark lips then this will be something that would come in handy or if you have really pink lips you know sometimes you put on a lip shade and it's not the same shade as you saw on somebody else it's because you need some lip concealer <laughs> I have not opened this box I think I wanted you guys to see so it comes shipped like this it has like this just has it says beauty delivery and it has like some uh, promotional flyers and information in there and then look at the tissue paper with the sticker I mean you can tell this is a little bit higher end so I also oh I saw a video on their channel and the, the lady used this strobing fan and she said this was all she used to apply her highlight. So I wanted to I wanted to try it. I wanted to see if it was all that. Alright, that's what I purchased. So then another one of these cute boxes. Okay, I purchased some lippies from Sigma. I don't even know if they're known for lippies, but I saw someone put some on and I thought it was pretty. These are the Lip Vex. These are lip glosses. This is the Lip Vex um, All Heart Lip Vex. Look at that. 
Ooh, I'm excited to try that. I like that shade, y'all. And then this one is, this one is called Hint Lip Gloss. And this is more of a nude, it's like a mauve a mauve purple, pinky nude. Like mauve nude, okay? One of these is a lip base. It's called Indulgent. And it's like a liner, but you can put it all over your lip. And so I picked that up. And then I also picked up some brow pencils, again, so that I get the free gift. One is in, um, one is in Top Shelf and one is in Atomic Number no. 6. So it's like a grayish brown and a black. I got the shader, the shader crease brush. This is a mini brush too. So it was worth picking up a couple of more items to get the free gift. So those are all of my Sigma purchases. I purchased a couple of Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palettes. This is my first time purchasing from them. This is one of the palettes. I think this is the Nubian 2. This is the Masquerade Mini. I really um, wanted to purchase these because of the vibrant colors, especially that first row. There are some shades in here that I don't normally purchase and don't normally wear and I have been looking for these types of shades so that I can add them um, to my collection and this one has them as well they have the blue and orange and yellow and green so um, I'm extremely excited also this is not really a part of this shopping spree because I purchased this a while ago and I talked to you guys about it I think I talked about it on snapchat it took a long time for this to come this is my deck of cards subscription it's 29 dollars i think every two months and you will get a new product sent to you every couple of months it took a while for me to get my first one but oh boy the product like the it came in this really pretty box and then it's got like this velvety material and um this one was done in collaboration with sandra deluxe look at how pretty oh it's like a matte finish that is what the outside looks like this is a case a sleeve and then here we go deck of cards oh or deck of cards deck of not deck of cards deck of scarlet what did i call it earlier deck of scarlet i don't know what i called it earlier. <laughs> so you flip this look at this ooh. and ooh. and it's got this little thing here and I'm trying not to, here we go. So it's got, um, I don't know whether this is the lip pencil or eye pencil, but it comes with the eye pencil and a lip pencil, cheek colors and um, lip shades. I think these two over here, lip shades, as well as eyeshadows. And all of these looks are, colors are supposed to complement one another. And um, this is supposed to last you for two months. I love Sandra Deluxe and I um, saw her create a look with this and thought it was really pretty. So I thought I want to try that. So that's why we here with it. I've been wanting a new lipstick holder. Purchased this on Amazon. And this holds liquid lipsticks. The little lipstick holder that I don't need, I think it's just out of the shot that's over there is a regular lipstick holder. And I always have issues with my liquid lipsticks falling over whenever I go to reach for one. And it also it, it kind of causes me not to use them very often because that happens so much. So I have been wanting this and I finally decided to go ahead and purchase it. And this is tall, so they won't be tumbling over whenever I reach for them. So I'm excited about that. I went to Ulta to purchase a liquid eyeshadow primer to go with a glittery um, eyeshadow that I have from Stila. I've only worn it once and it came with the liquid eyeshadow primer from Stila and it seems to have dissolved over time <laughs> and it's not very much of it left. This looks like it's dissolving a little bit too. Revolution, that's the name of the company. This is a drugstore kind of brand. 
um, has a liquid eye primer and this was like six bucks so I decided to give it to go there was buy one get one half off I decided to pick up this blush palette this one is in goddess this is a revolution palette and it's a blush palette but these look like they may be highlighters across the top I'm not sure and so I just decided I would give this a try because I don't have very many drugstore or affordable blushes and I may want to film another affordable makeup look here in the future so I decided to add some more products to my collection that are affordable Laura Lee talked about this peach buff every time I go to purchase it it's never there and guess what it was the last one and this is a matte lipstick and she said she really liked it so I decided to pick that up to try and it was buy one get one half off for the Maybelline products so I picked up a brown lip liner in rich chocolate so I'll probably pair these together in addition to the lens I purchased this new camera and I'm just telling you guys about it I have not even turned the thing on yet I've just charged it and that's it and so I purchased this new Sony camera this is the mirrorless camera I've been wanting it a while and so I purchased it to be able to take better product shots and better selfies for um, Instagram that's why I got it in to vlog with and all that good stuff I have a Z palette um, that I have had a while I wanted to see if I could build my own palette with shades that I like and I'm not even sure how I feel about the ones that I have in here so far but I'm it's a work in progress I ordered some more that are on their way and haven't arrived yet I think I purchased them from makeup geek and I heard the color pop shadows are nice too but here I have purchased some uh, some of these I already had I purchased some Mac shadows and some of these are MAC shadows. I have some Carity shadows blended in. I already had those. And I purchased a couple from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think that's this yellow and green. And so um, this is a work in progress palette. I wanted to include some shades that I don't normally wear. That's all I have to share with you today. I am sure I have missed something here lately. I've been picking up quite a few makeup products. I went on a hiatus from purchasing for a while. Not a while, but I haven't been purchasing as many products over the last couple of months. And so there were just some things that I've been wanting and kind of saving my little coins and then went crazy and purchased them all at once. So I still have products coming in as we speak. I, I am going to continue to get packages. So thank you all for watching Savvy's Shopping Spree. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure that you leave them for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please make sure that you click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. So I hope to see you guys again very soon. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.